Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're starting in the wrong game, so that I can inform you that if you're watching this video when it's new, you can go out and get the luchador-themed Metroidvania game, Guacamelee, on uh, Epic Store for the low, low price of free. And just for fun, they're also throwing in the sequel, Guacamelee 2. I've uh, done a Let's Play of the first game, but not the second one. But I did think the first game was absolutely stellar. Just really outstanding effort. And uh, if you like Metroidvania games, I would absolutely recommend it. You know what? I have a feeling the second one will be pretty good, too. <laughs> uh, but back to Santa Destroy. Here we are. Home sweet home. <laughs> For the record, that was not a sponsored message. I just really liked the game and wanted to get more uh, attention to it. Oh, for God's sake, Gene. Hey, girl. The little bow. I wonder if they recorded that off of an actual cat. I wanted to start off the, uh, the shoutouts today by, uh, drawing attention to Roshan, who leaves a comment saying, I'd like to point out that although you could immediately imply Shinobu is Dr. Peace's daughter, his entire speech was about how being an assassin ruined his life and made his wife slash daughter hate him, to the point Jennifer would probably be glad he was killed. And that's actually a very good point, since uh, Shinobu was very much into the I WILL AVENGE MY FATHER, you know. So, I don't know what's up with that, especially since Travis said he never met the guy in real life. Huh. another comment in here. Actually, let me check something real quick while we're at the apartment and all that. Yes, yes. Well, first I'll mention that Yornick has left a, an, a different interpretation of what LB dollars means on every single video in the series. It's quite entertaining so far. This one, this comment starts off by saying, um, You know, I wouldn't be too surprised if in the end this whole deal turns out to be a dream of a dying mentally handicapped child. And then one of those big smile D face emojis. And it's like, what? <laughs> I like that, the juxtaposition of the sad thought with uh, the cheery emoji. Oh no, that's an emoji con, yes, yes. Oh, and LB stands for Lazy Badger or Lackadaisical Beaver. There are some arguments for both. The unofficial official mascot of Santa Destroy. I think I might have read that part out before, but the, this is new. Um, I also have a tiny favor to ask you. If it's not too much of a bother, can you please buy Travis orange glasses? It's my fave color, and I need my fix. <laughs> That's very polite, so I see no reason why not. Let's see, where was the clothing store? No, that's not the map button. This is how you get to the map. That's right, it's over there. Area 51. I couldn't even remember which icon I was heading towards there. Oh, that's right, one of them is a t-shirt! Oh, it must have been below the job center. I guess that would take priority. What the hell? Is there a Lovikov ball on the sidewalk or something? Oh god! That was weird. I haven't even played anything since the last time I played this game. Yes. But 
also. Yeah. He didn't question that one. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, let's not think about that too hard. Nope, oh, jeez. Look away from my map for one second. You know what? Close enough. <laughs> vanished into thin air. Oh, right. Oh, right. That's weird that they're both the same button. Wait, what did that say? I don't think that's the exact logo of, uh... The Clover Studios that was a spin-off of, uh... Capcom, I think. The people who did Okami. And I can't actually think of anything else. I don't think they lasted very long. A reference to uh, fellow indie studio. Orange colored sunglasses, a color that allows the outline of objects to clearly be seen. Whatever that means. One of the framed images on the wall there kind of looked like the crown of thorns. Like the torture thing they stuck on Jesus' head while he was being uh, crucified. Close enough. No, oh, no, oh, I know that one. That's the one where you uh, fight guys with one hit point. Let's not do that. Oh god. What the hell? Ooh. What a weird layout here. I guess it's because of the gradient of the hill. I think that's the term. What the hell am I actually doing? Right, I need to earn a lot of money. No. Oh. Otiloba? What the hell does that mean? Kind of impressive that the restaurant was 20 years old and I was born, though. Like a child of hippies. Hmm. Oh shit, yes, and uh... Because I, I realized that I forgot to uh... Make a thing for Father's Day, since uh, that's today. And today's videos are already live. But all the same, I hope all you dad-type people that might be listening uh, had a great day yesterday. You know, happy Father's Day. What is this? There's just nothing here. And I guess, yeah, there's spots like that in the world. It's just weird. Kind of assumed that would break like a lot of other things. Wait a minute. 
That's not the right button. Okay, I thought those were purple for a moment. Like, what? I did not equip those. I mean, I think I have those. I, don't, I did not equip them. Why did I start in the middle of nowhere? Okay, not gonna say no. Oh, oh god damn it. That's a really well made wire fence. Honestly, even if the, the the stakes stayed up, right, you'd think the uh, the front of the bike would just punch through. No, that's not the right button. I push. It's vibrating just there. Huh. First try. Okay, I should accomplish something. How many Lovikov balls do I have? Not enough for another move. Right! Uh... Back in the industrial area, which is kind of a lot of the town. Est. Oh, God damn it. I have to get off first. Hmm. Dang it. I can't see what it says up there because of the walkway. I've never even seen a uh, water tower with a walkway. Usually it's just a big, big round thing on top of legs. All right, off to the job center. I think I unlocked a new job or something anyway, or was that just... No, that was garbage pickup, that's right. But that was actually pretty good for earning money, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, not making that mistake again. It's strange that ever since I was told that uh, Suda51 is a troll with evidence, I uh, find myself wondering if anything that causes me annoyance in this game was intentional. Like the thing with the bridges and resetting you back to the hotel. Uh, intentionally designed to be cruel to its players, which I shall not name because I do not think that kind of thing deserves more attention. And one example given was that, you know, there are enemies that have attacks of you know, with a 50% chance of hitting you. But instead of just, like, you know, random number generator and telling you whether it hit or not, it does a coin flip and it asks you to call it. So the attack lands if you are wrong, and it doesn't if you uh, are right. But because it's a coin flip, because you're actively choosing one side or the other, that means that if you're wrong, it's your fault, not the computer's. <sighs> it's that kind of thinking that uh, Why makes, you wonder, come here? makes you wonder if video game me. developers are okay. Do you think Gongs is like a team of some kind? This joke is for you, don't forget. I feel like each subsequent job pays more than the last one, but uh, that might just be a, the way it feels. Because I'm very quickly picking up garbage, you know.
Oh. Oh, that's not actually a gap. How deeply embarrassing. Carry on. Move myself from embarrassment. King Tut. I have no idea what that store does, and I probably wouldn't even if I kept looking. Destroy restaurant. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, posh cat. Yes, I thought that said something um, different. Uh, it was my evil twin, Bravis. First, I'm just going to stand in the middle of the street like a crazy person and confirm that I am not surrounded by garbage. Yup. No, I'm just sticking my fingers in my ears and humming really loudly. I mean, it doesn't really look like a place of anarchy given that, you know, there isn't uh, madness in the streets. Why couldn't I turn around? I was hitting down, and he kept running forward. This is a strange game, you guys. Huh. Oh, right. Yeah, fuck. I forgot that part. What? Oh. I got turned around. Now, what would be funny is if you could get the slot moves here. He just like holds up the can and all the things fly into it while he's got yellow hair. Hmm. Or another one makes them all run towards you so you can pick them up more easily. And then there's another one where you just mash the. Or, uh, you don't need to do the stick, so you can just mash the A button as fast as you can. Appreciate the tongs. Nothing worse than picking up other people's garbage with your bare hands. That's not true, but you know it's up there. <laughs> huh. I mean, about five seconds thinking about uh, God of War will bring up at least eight things that uh, are significantly worse than Easy. handling garbage. Easy. of them inflicted by Kratos. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Easy. thing really confuses me, I have to admit, because I couldn't think of a single one of the events I've seen so far that would be improved uh, or easier if you got on your bike. It surely would just eat time at best.
How close did that get me? I didn't notice. Ooh, not bad. Oop. Oh, wait, there was a, uh, what do you call it? A dumpster back there. The glamorous life I leave. Leave? Lead. Fuck. Oh, hey, there's two more over here. Fine. What does that say? No trash. What? That's what you're supposed to use these for. You're supposed to fill them with grabbage. Yeah. I don't know that the self-awareness thing was really that popular in 2007, but if this game was made today, you can bet there'd be, like, some guy in the game who has a throwaway line about putting money in garbage cans. Whoa. But it's just a joke. But I suppose the timer has gone. I just wanted to see if I can grab that Lovikov ball. Yoink! Sweet. Oh, and, uh... I did actually have a comment on the subject of the Lovikov balls. Uh... If I could just find it, how embarrassing! Ah! Shout out to Clunk279, who says, Now that you met him, I just want to say that the Lovikov balls are meant to be references to the seven dragon balls. I assume him is the drunk in the bar. So, uh... Honestly, I could see it. They're scattered all over the place. You use them in groups of seven? Sure. God damn it. Seriously, why Easter Island? Oh well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. When we, uh, continue being awesome and continue earning money for our next fight. Later.